Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how you can install all the updates for your Dell computer if you haven't done it already. That way you can make sure you have the latest drivers installed, the newest BIOS, and you can keep everything secure on your Dell computer. So the first thing you want to do is, it depends on which model you have, you either want to have the Dell Command Update Program or the Dell Update Program. Now it's going to depend on whether you have a Dell Precision, a Dell Optiplex, a Latitude, an Inspiron, any of those models. It depends on which one you have as to whether you're going to have the Command Update or the Update. Now on this one, what I'm going to do, and you can do the same exact thing on your Dell computer, is you're going to open up the internet. I'm just going to use Microsoft Edge because it's already here. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in dell.com and then a forward slash support. Now when you go to dell.com forward slash support and you scroll down just a little bit, it's going to say uh, drivers and diagnostics. Now, I want to do find drivers. Now, there is a chance it may prompt you to download a support assist or support assistant, and you may have to download and install that in order for this page to pull up where it shows you your model, your service code, and your express service code. But if you do that, this will come up, and then you can scroll down and you can let Dell find the drivers for you and you can sometimes you can click on check for updates if you can't that's okay click right here and just type in update and then press enter now if I scroll down just a little bit for this computer it has a Dell update application. Now I've already gone ahead and I've downloaded that application and it's right here underneath my downloads and it's this Dell update application right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run it as administrator and if it prompts you, go ahead and put your password in and then go ahead and click yes. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click install and then once the install finishes, we're going to open that Dell update. Now, you may have the Dell command update program instead. If you do, just do the same exact thing. Download it, run it as administrator, and install it. And then we're going to open that program in just a moment. So you click next here and install. Okay, and then you just go ahead and click finish. Now, if you'll go over to your start button and you go to Dell right here, there's my Dell update. Now, you want to either look for Dell update or Dell command update. So, go ahead and click on it. And you can close this if it's still open. And then you're just going to click on check. Okay, so it found some updates that I need to download and install. So you can either scroll to the bottom and tell it to install, or you can do them one at a time. Now I'm going to do mine one at a time, just because I want to go and I want to download this Dell Inspiron System BIOS update manually. So I'm going to click on this little icon right here, which is going to open up the web page. And then I can scroll down and then I can click on download to download that one file to install the system BIOS update. Now, once I finish installing that one update, I'm going to go back over after I restart my computer. I'm going to open the Dell update program and I'm going to install these other three. But on your computer, all you have to do is just go down to the bottom and click on install unless you want to do it the same way I'm doing it and you can download the BIOS update, install it 
and then you can restart and then open the Dell update or Dell command update and install everything else that's remaining. It's entirely your call, whatever you choose. So just go ahead and click on this web page one more time, click download, and then it's going to download that file for me. And then I'm going to click open. And then it wants my password one more time. So give me just a moment. Okay, now that I put my password in, I'm going to click yes. And then it says, okay, you're going to install this BIOS update. Make sure your computer is connected to the power. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then it wants to know, do you want to update it? I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to prepare the update and it's going to restart and it's going to flash the BIOS. Now, your computer would need to do that exact same thing if you have a BIOS update. If you don't have a BIOS update, don't even worry about that. Just go ahead and install all the other updates that show up under the Dell update or the Dell command update. And then you'll be good to go. So I'm going to let that finish installing the Dell BIOS update. And once it comes back up, I'm going to show you how to install the rest of them. So let's give it just a moment to finish. Okay, so the computer has just finished restarting from installing the Dell BIOS update. Now the next thing you want to do is if you did the same thing that I did, you want to open up the Dell update or the Dell command update on your computer so that we can install any other updates that are waiting. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the start button. And then I'm going to go to the Dell folder. And then I'm going to open up Dell Update. Once the Dell Update opens, we're going to check for any updates and we're going to go ahead and install them. Now, if for any reason you have trouble where the updates will not install, even after you click the install button, you can do the same thing that I did previously, where you can open up the web page and manually download and install those updates. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and click on check to see if there's any more updates available for the Dell computer. Okay, now for some reason, it still thinks that there's a Dell BIOS update even though I've already installed that update. So I just unchecked it and I left the other three updates checked and I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to click on install. Now if you click install and it doesn't actually start installing, again don't worry, all you have to do, there's an icon right here, you can click on it and it's going to open up the web page. On this web page, you can scroll down and you can click on download and it'll let you download and install each update individually. So you can install the, download and install that one. And then you can go back to the Dell update program and you can click on that one. Do the same thing and then do this one at the top for the last one. But I really hope that will help you out to keep your Dell computer safe, secure, and up to date. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope that was helpful on how you can install all your Dell updates for your Dell computer to keep everything up to date, secure, and working properly so you don't have any problems. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. I will be more than happy to get back to you about those. And if there's a video that you'd like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to make that for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up all this great content like how to keep your Dell computer up to date with the Dell update or Dell command update. And I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.